Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my peeps. Yes, we're back into the studio. Welcome back to another exciting podcast here today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're, we're ready. We're ready for another podcast. We're back from our extremely good weekend, of course. Uh, you got I got my crew up in the studio today. Of course, we've got T and Monica up in the studio. You guys have been listening to our, our Instagram post. Of course, me and Monica, we working on something very special. Of course, if you guys don't know, Monica is coming back with her debut album produced by Swanky Studios and of course impulse music group and swanky records i'm so excited for you monica thank you for allowing me to be your producer um very very excited for that i am i'm, I'm very very excited for that um because you know monica has been with KLP entertainment for i want to say about three years now and she's been you know producing and editing and, and making her own kind of thing um, but now we're in the producing game more with her when it comes to her music. Uh, she got a new film. Oops, I spoiled it, Monica. Uh, I was going to do that in the first place. Of course, a new movie that she's uh, uh, filming and, and editing. And we're putting it together for Amazon Prime for next year. So it's good, guys. We, we're working on some great, great things. Of course, we, we're working on a lot of great things when it comes to films. Of course, y'all are going to see more news about that later on. It's good to be back. Right. It's, it's good to be back because, you know, we, we've had a fantastic Thanksgiving break. Mine was very uh, eventful, if you will. Um, went out, celebrated Thanksgiving with my mom and my siblings. And uh, one of my cousins came down. That was a fantastic time to eat some some turkey legs, some some chicken wings, some mac and cheese and sweet potato pie. I got a whole pie or a little bit almost of a whole pie still in my refrigerator at home. Uh, I'm excited. You know, I was excited for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was was a blast, y'all. I've had so much fun. Uh, you guys saw the fit. You know, I'm not really, you know, I'm rocking a Marvel shirt and, and a beanie today. But the other day, y'all saw saw the fit. Of course, I was going out with some friends or, or a friend, Mussy. Shout out to her. We're doing some Christmas shopping. Looking fresh out there in them streets of Atlanta. So excited, so excited to, to look good and post it on Instagram. You guys been loving the fit. So very, very excited. You know, it's a great time. It's a great time to be, you know, always alive. And I always say that's one thing that I am thankful for. You know, I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my my life. I, I'm thankful for my, my home, my car, all the things that I'm able to afford. Food. Y'all know I'm thankful for food now. Um, so I'm thankful for a lot of things. So uh, it's just another great year. Christmas is around the corner. Christmas starts, right? We all seen the, the Christmas specials and the Christmas music and the Christmas sales. Hopefully you guys take advantage of those Christmas sales that are out there uh, as much as we are. A lot of discounts. Went to a lot of interesting stores too. One store uh, that was in the Dunwoody area that I recommend people going. It's called Cost Plus. If you guys haven't been to that store, it's kind of a, and I went with my friend Mutsi and we walked in there, right? And there was a lot of, uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, adults, right? You know, when you're at the mall, you see the kiddos going into their favorite store at the mall. This store, I gotta say, it was for the adults. I just, I, I, I gotta say, it's for the adults because when I walked into the store, uh, this is a store where they sell, you know, furniture, like grown up furniture, appliances, uh, dishware, um, couches, candles, spices, uh, a lot of international spices they sold there as well. Lamps. So it's kind of like your grown version of it's kind of a mix between Georgia home furniture or at home, but a little bit of big lots, but at an upper scale, if that makes sense. Um, so very, very mature 
type of store that you can go to um we walked around of course my friend must she needed to buy some stuff but i'm looking around there and i'm saying okay i need to come back right because i like their cookware i really like their cookware that they have at that store so anybody that knows me um cooking is one of the things i enjoy doing i enjoy cooking up a good meal uh, i'm actually going to cook up a good meal when i get home tonight uh, but very, very excited for that. Very, very excited to to go to that type of store. So I recommend you guys go into that store because the vibe was the vibe was just fantastic. Right. It was just a lot of adults and I was looking fresh. Right. I had my my little uh, uh, not a suit, but like a, a jumpsuit, uh, uh, a matching suit set. Um, looking good in that store. I got a lot of eyes too. a lot of eyes was staring like, mm, look at him. He, he looked like he got money. Uh, I do the best I can in, in my society, in my world. But that is a store that I recommend you guys going to. Um, we did go to Joey D's. Not the night we went out shopping, but a couple nights before that, I went with my squad, my siblings. Of course, my two sisters and my brother, Kendra, Amber, and Ryan. Went to Joey D's. Joey D's was scrumptious. Very, very scrumptious. I had the barbecue chicken with some fries and it was just it was very very scrumptious so the last couple days that's where we've been guys of course i've been home doing some gaming uh gaming has been one of the things i've been doing the most um i didn't do as much gaming as i as, as i thought i was gonna do this past couple days because we've been on sets uh I, i'm sure you guys are gonna see it um yeah we've been cooking we've been when it comes to our films we've been cooking now i can't give you so much of everything quite just yet um but we've been on sets filming we filmed about well we filmed two movies and one movie we've been done we filmed for a long time we're just putting some editing touches and touching on it uh of course eden prime is on that list and there's this new movie that i can kind of sort of announce because that's going to be the first movie for this for the year the dragon stone of lannister of course that is a uh, fantasy type film animated film that we were creating and reproduced uh, we reproduced that for a couple of months we still got some ways to go with that film but we've been filming we've been filming a whole lot so i wasn't able to get a whole lot of gaming done but it's okay it's no worries because filming's a thing prime they're coming up and they say hey we need something kennedy so that's where i've been that's where we've been within our uh, whole time of of this break i do encourage people when you go out there and go for a break it's always good to take some time off you guys saw it and i posted it on our, our social medias that yeah klp entertainment is going to be shut down for a couple days because we need to rest right when we're filming and we're producing and we're podcasting and we're radio show and you got the box news we're writing articles you know there's a time to where we need to take a break right t so that time was now and now that we're back in the office we're back at it and i'm excited now let's get to the juiciness of it guys this have this story broke out a couple of days ago and i was very shocked to read about this story because this is a uh, a star from the hit show the squid games now the squid games is a fantastic show season one was fantastic i encourage everybody to take a look at that show that is a show of course that netflix is producing monaco but this is a show that does really well lately over our thanksgiving break i've been watching a lot of k dramas over at netflix because they some of their shows that they're producing from netflix the korean dramas are genuinely really good now there's been some kind of ones that just didn't really flow well but this is the one that i recommend people seeing this of course good game star oh young su if i pronounce that name right give me a thumbs up was charged with sexual misconduct of course the 78 year old actor he is the actor that plays the old man uh, was indicted by prosecutors in Suwon, South Korea. South uh, Squid Game star Oh Young Soo has been charged with sexual misconduct. According to reports, the 78 year old uh, South Korean actor was indicted November 24th. That has to suck, right? That's a couple days before Thanksgiving Eve. Or that is Thanksgiving. Or actually, no, that was on Thanksgiving. Um, with the case steaming from the mid-2017 occurrence when he supposedly touched a woman in an inappropriate manner, a complaint filed by the alleged victim was made against the actor on December 2021, and it was closed by authorities in April of 2022, but was reopened again at the victim's request. Of course, uh, yeah, Oh Sung Young, uh, un, excuse me, Un Young Soo, excuse me 
had uh, denied the allegations in front of the prosecutor prosecutors and shared a set uh, excuse me shared a statement with korean broadcaster jtbc i just held her hand to guide the way around the lake i apologize because the person in quotation said she would have she wouldn't make a fuss about it but it doesn't mean that i meant to these charges he uh he released without detention so that is a very sticky situation um and it could be true right I, i'm not gonna sit here and say be judgmental be the judge and say no he touched that woman in an inappropriate manner i don't know right this happened in korea i have no idea but i kind of i mean he's 78 right he probably had some good intentions right he probably had some good intentions to where you know i'm just trying to help right but i think it was a sticky situation maybe and this is uh, this is not me hating on the the person that 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 did these claims right maybe just speculation maybe she figured out who he was right because he's the actor in squid games they made millions and millions of dollars on this show right so maybe she might have needed some money not saying and i'm not indicting nobody i'm not saying it in a rude way or a uh, 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 anti uh feminist way maybe that's the case right maybe it was a sticky situation that it was really misconstrued and now it got worse now i kind of feel for our, our gentleman right because in my daily day-to-day -day operations i have to be careful myself right i have to make sure if, if a girl walks by in a public place i know to not stare at her right because that that looks wrong right we all know i work at an institution and i deal with uh college students i have to be extremely careful i have to and i've been saying this a lot for many many shows maybe i'm walking around if i see a woman that's in gym wear i'm looking the other way i'm looking everywhere but at her so that way when somebody walks by they know it's nothing different right it's not something sus so with this predicament maybe somebody said oh that looks a little sus but didn't understand the whole outlook of the situation now this sucks for this man because he's 78 for crying out loud i mean uh, he looks based off the character he plays on squid games and he was number one and it's, it's number one the 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 you guys know the, the old guy who his jack is number one um he was very funny in this in the show too but again maybe he thought this would be a good idea to help somebody but then they misconstrued the situation and made it worse um very very sad about that of course the actor took the role of oh langnam player number one the oldest player and this and the creator of the squid games in the popular netflix series and went to win a golden globe for best supporting actor series miniseries and television film so back and i've seen that this this year that year's golden globes when they won because squid games got nominated for a lot monica maybe again maybe that person that filed them claims understood who he was right when you in a, a, a top show <coughs> when you're in a top show and you've won a golden globes right you're, you're you're famous so i mean and i'm not saying that may not be the case of that but who knows right no one knows i don't know monica you don't know t you don't know nobody knows the entirety of this situation um but this is a, a situation that first of all is our elephant of the room not towards the actor but the, the elephant goes up to the situation because he could have said oh let me just help you trying to be nice and then that night that when you do when you give night uh niceness and kindness that turns into weakness right so uh that's a very sticky situation i hope he bounced back from that um i hope it's not worse right and it's especially when you're if you're in korea and something like that happened it gets worse right this is not just a sexual harassment claim and you pay money no i mean in korea and some other countries too when something like this happens then you could be serving jail time in those type of unique countries so you just have to watch out you just have to watch out for it um like i say i'm watching out every day i'm not touching nobody the only person i'm touching in my is myself pause or maybe not pause but that's the only thing i'm touching i'm not touching nobody that i shouldn't be touching right i ain't touching um people out there in public like that i sure as hell not touching people at my institution i work for no i'm not touching you because that that's a whole that's a no-no 
right so it's just one of those things it's a sticky situation that he got involved in and i really hate that for this 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 actor because not only that tarnishes his, his character but it tarnishes his reputation and maybe when he goes to find more work in the acting field it's gonna be slim for him so I don't know it's just it's, it's crazy it really is crazy speaking of what's crazy and all the good ways of course we've got ava up in the studio ava what are we talking about summer walker has found herself at the center of yet another online conversation after lamenting that her pregnancy is ruining her most recent body sculpting surgery the singer shared her thoughts on an insta story via her not so secret alternate instagram account on thursday november 24th just days after releasing a new music video, in which her growing belly bump is on full display. I'm so mad I had just got my body done last year, she wrote in the temporary post. And now all the dollar sign went down the drain lol boobs sag as stretchy marks everywhere probably gone have a gut. The still over its inner confirmed that she was expecting her second child in June, after a pair of Instagram photos of her in a bikini sparked rumors that she might be pregnant. People asking me if I'm pregnant, she said during an IG live session. I am. And, you know, I'm very 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 happy about it, very excited about it. It's just, you know, really peaceful, really happy. Lots of help, lots of love, and the only reason I'm even saying anything is because, you know, last time. I felt very disrespected that people didn't let me tell that myself. Two days later, Summer Walker walked the red carpet at the 2022 BET Awards in a skimpy outfit that left little to the imagination. The look, which comprised a short gold skirt, strategically positioned gold plates on her chest and black jewelry, drew some backlash as she was accused of appropriating and sexualizing traditional pieces worn by the Hmong people, indigenous people who mainly live in southwest China, Vietnam, Laos, Thailand and Myanmar. A DM thread later appeared online in which your stylist for the event, Laurel Street, apologized for the offense caused by Summer Walker's outfit, and for failing to properly identify the Hmong people as creators of the jewelry style. We didn't mean any harm we were simply highlighting these pieces, Street wrote. I am of South Asian and Indian descent I celebrate all cultures. We like to mix pieces in our archive to achieve looks. These pieces are not being sold, they are part of our archives, which come from all over the world. We added healing crystals to customize it. Again we apologize. The stylist later deleted photos of Summer Walker from her Instagram account to avoid engaging with any further negativity. Since her Bet Awards appearance, Summer Walker has not shied away from sharing photos of her progressing pregnancy, which would suggest that she might have been trolling critics with the comments about plastic surgery. On Tuesday, November 22nd, the singer shared the video for a new rap single called Since That God Gave You which found her twerking at a gas station wearing a belly-bearing cropped hoodie and short shorts. In an IG post announcing the song's release, she cautioned that she is not shifting away from her R&B lane. And congratulations to Summer Walker. You know, con uh, congratulations, I guess. But that's a unique story. She had a lot of uh, outlooks on that, too, for sure. So uh, we had to shout out to Summer Walker um, because that's a unique story. Thank you, Ava. Unique story. Very, very unique story that came out uh, with that when it came down to it. Now, let's talk about it. More news to talk about it here on the KLP Aftermath Season 4. I'm your host, KLP Kennedy Lucas, by the way. I don't think I just kind of I got so excited, Monica, and grabbed the mic and just started talking. And I really didn't dabble into my name in the intro um, that that well. But you guys know what show this is. Of course, I wanted to talk about let's talk about Apple's best Black Friday deals. Now, I'm guilty. Uh, I am very, very gu guilty in Black Friday shopping this year. Um, um, Friday, when I went out to my friend. Uh, with my friend Muncie, we went Black Friday shopping, you know. I remember when one year I went to Black Friday shopping and I bought a TV that is now in my living room at my home. And it was a great deal. I think I spent like $150 on that nice uh, flat screen smart Roku TV. Loved it ever since. And that was in 2018. I still have it. I find value in, in TVs. But 
I do want to say, and we'll get to the deals for, for Apple. Um, but a lot of people, I got to say, T, a lot of people haven't been dabbling uh, into uh, Black Friday shopping as much anymore. Um, I think it's I think it's more of just our economics this year, right? Um, we were talking about it, and we I am doing gift exchange for my squad. And we had to make sure that we budget everybody's Christmas gifts to about maybe about 10 to 15 bucks a piece. And that's not bad once you really uh, budget that down for Christmas uh, shopping. Um, because we noticed uh, with my friend squad, we haven't done Christmas shopping since 2019 um, because obviously it's 2020. So there was no there was no Christmas shopping for a lot of people because it was 2020 and then 2021. Um, things were a little bit bleak things then we didn't have the money we we would have today so we didn't do gift exchange in 2021 but in 2022 that's when we're coming back for a gift exchange and i'm very excited for that right because i without giving you guys too much information i made some very good investments this year and um the record came out really really well um but a lot of people are not dabbling into Black Friday deals as much anymore. Um, if not, if they're not going to the stores, they'll try to look at the Black Friday deals online. Let's say Walmart.com. Let's say Amazon. I'm sure Amazon a, is a big competitor, right? Because I've got people that works for Amazon. They say, yeah, they're picking us up for six days out of seven because it's Christmas time. And a lot of people are getting their, their, their shopping done, right? That is a pivotal year for Amazon where a lot of people are doing their shopping online. Now, when I versus people going to the actual store and I'm, I'm really glad that we've kind of broke away from it because I remember when Black Friday, I mean, Black Friday been out for a long time, but I remember the years Black Friday got worse where Black Friday used to be right after like the same day as Thanksgiving, like you would have families would go and have Thanksgiving early, let's say 11 o'clock in the morning. And then they're going out at five o'clock in the afternoon because stores are opening up for a, a, a small discount on a TV, right? It used to be worse. I remember one year, um, one year me and my siblings, we went um, just because we, we wanted to be dumb. And we were, I would say we were young and dumb at that time because we were all in high school-ish. Well, except for my big sister, she was in college. Um, and I think, I think my other sister, she was getting ready to graduate. Um, and it was a dumb moment for us because we wanted to experience Black Friday shopping. So I ended up going Black Friday shopping and we went to Target and it was hot. Somebody was musty. Everybody was walking like, like it was life or death. It was so, it was just so exhausting. And everybody, when we left, we went home right after that. Cause all of us was just tremendously exhausted from Black Friday shopping. And it was weird because I see videos and every Christmas time I watch Black Friday videos just to laugh at crazy people fighting for that for that toaster oven or fighting for that 20 inch flat screen, you know, so it was, it was as I laugh, it's so funny now. But uh, as the years go on and obviously we came from a pandemic and honestly, I got to say we're kind of still in the pandemic. A lot of people are not doing Black Friday shopping, right? Because it could be where they're scared to go out in the mass crowds because of COVID. It could be that a lot of people just don't have money, right? Because a lot of people right now, they don't have money, right? A lot of people are robbing these stores because they are desperate. And I was telling my friend that too. Um, you know, these, these, these Dollar General stores, um, Best Buy, Target, all of these stores are getting robbed because not somebody wanting to be bad somebody is just desperate to put food on the table so they're willing to rob steal and sell just to make a buck to put a meal plate on somebody's table right so that's why a lot of people are not doing black friday shopping that much anymore because of that and we just kind of you have to be careful and especially when we live out when we live in this society monica to where people are doing bringing guns like when they're robbing they're bringing guns in a lot of people are getting shot right because of crazy people I, every day we see on the news somebody's shot somebody right if it's not 
an, an artist that gets shot and killed is somebody out there for dumb reasons getting shot and killed over a robbery right so a lot of people are scared to go out i'm scared to go out right when it comes to black friday minus this past couple of days because we didn't do all the big stores we did the stores that nobody really heard about except for five below we went to five below i love five below but there was a lot of people that you know would go to the big big stores right but then now you realize that people don't have money <laughs> you know people can't afford christmas this year a lot of people can't um so and I always say gifting a gift for some some people are is good. But, you know, I'm always going to say Christmas is not about the presents. It's about being in the moment with your loved ones. Right. That's how I feel at Christmas. Gifts is a good bonus to it. But we we don't care about that stuff. Right. Yes, we are shopping for our friend squad. But we're talking about what kind of food we gonna have. What we going to dance to. Are we drinking? You know, these are the things I care about when it comes to Christmas. I want to drink. So, um. So, like I say, before I read the Black Friday deals from Apple devices that you can still get, I do say to a lot of people, please be careful if you're doing um, Black Friday. It's a great time to buy, to buy an iPad, the base iPad from 2021 with a lightning conductor. It's a great value of $269.99. That's actually not bad for that brand new iPad for that came out in 2021. Two hundred and sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Of course, a hundred percent, excuse me, hundred dollar discount that brings the 2021 iPad mini with the USB conductor down to four hundred dollars is good. That's very good. Honestly, that's really, really good pricing. Of course, the next step is a great deal on the iPad, the 2022 iPad Air with the M1 processor and 64 gigabytes of storage. It dropped from uh dropped to 549 so that's 50 dollars off at amazon amazon does have the, those good deals right you can get a lot of good deals from amazon especially amazon prime video to which quick plug guys to which you guys can watch my latest films of course street style in new york culture and heartline second term if you have an amazon prime account of course you can buy and rent the two movies uh for hd and you guys can enjoy my films like I say, Amazon Prime Video got them good deals and Amazon.com got them good deals. So if you're looking for a higher end option, you can get the 2021 12.9 inch iPad Pro for with the M1 processor and mini LED screen as never been cheaper than it is now costing $899.99 for the 256 uh, gigabytes. So that is your uh, latest <coughs> in iPad news. Uh, when it comes down to those deals now coming down to the airpods of course airpods small size makes them great stocking stuffers yes they are actually you can get the brand new uh brand new second generation ipad or excuse me ipods pros with noise cancellations have received a 50 dollars discount bringing them down to 200 dollars in multiple retailers if you don't want to spend too much the second generation ipad uh, I, excuse me, AirPods are available as low as 80 bucks on Amazon. Again, take advantage of those Amazon deals, guys, because they, 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 Amazon's going to get them deals, right? Um, so of course the iPad pro, uh, excuse me, Apple AirPods max, of course you can get it 18% off. They have it for $449 over at, uh, Amazon. You can get the Apple uh, watch series 8 41 millimeter you can get it for 349 over there at walmart or either target um the apple watch ultra has an eight percent discount i i'm never gonna spend 700 dollars for a, a smart watch but hey if you're feeling fancy 739 dollars when it comes down to it of course those uh that deal is available over at amazon and best buy of course that is the latest when it comes to apple black friday deals guys take advantage of those deals now i'm a huge apple guy all we have in our studio is apple related equipment so that's one of the things that i genuinely enjoy uh the most is watching uh doing apple products apple uh, macbooks ipads iphones i love it i love apple products so again take advantage of those deals because they're available right right now of course now, before we log off here, we've got Dave up in the studio. He's going to tell us about the sports news and about, is that right, Dave, about Deion Sanders? Pro Football Hall of Famer Deion Sanders may be ready to take a step to a bigger college coaching job. 
Sanders, who is currently the head coach at Jackson State, has been offered the head coaching job at Colorado and has interest in the job, according to Bruce Feldman of Fox Sports. Sanders' track record at Jackson State has been impressive. Taking over a team that went 4-8 the year before he arrived, Sanders went 4-3 in the COVID-shortened 2020 season, then went 11-2 in 2021 and is 11 nil so far this season. It's easy to see why a Power 5 school like Colorado would be interested in his services. Once a national powerhouse, Colorado has fallen on hard times recently. The Buffaloes are 1-10 this year and have finished below .500 in 16 of the last 17 seasons. Report, Colorado has offered Deion Sanders its head coaching job and originally appeared on Pro Football Talk. Thanks, Dave. I, hey, y'all like it? You know, we've got Ava and Dave up in the studio to give us more news. I, I try to give a lot of people some, some mic time, right? When it comes to the mic time, I, I really love it. Congratulations to Deion Sanders. Hopefully he goes through with that. You know, I'm very excited to see Deion Sanders' you know, future, you know, when, when it comes to coaching. So I really do enjoy that uh, the most. So that's going to wrap it up here on today's show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you're watching the podcast on KLP Entertainment's in, uh, YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the bell notification so that way you guys don't miss when a new episode is getting ready to go live. And if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast over at our major audio platforms, our hard radio is a big partner of ours. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Podcasts, I, I, I love it. I really do love it. So please share it with your friends so that way you guys don't miss another new radio show here today. So that's going to wrap it up here on our shows here today. As always, from our cast and crew from Swanky Studios, we like to say stay safe, stay swanky, peace. We, we, we're about to take it. Bye, bye, bye. You are now tuned in to Atlanta's hottest radio show, KLP Aftermath. We shut it down in the studio. You, you, you're rocking with the best. Oh, this is Ludacris. What's going on? This is Drake. This Tiger Young Money Zone. It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man. This is Big Sean. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Kanye West. This is Jay Z. Yo, this is your boy Wiz. With your host, Kennedy Lucas. On Swanky 93.3 Radio Station. The Heat 94.6 E Radio Station.